Our genetics, brain chemistry, even our social groups help make us who we are. Think about it as, as really the stuff that makes you tick. This Saturday brings the opening of something new and very cool. It's called Identity, an Exhibition of You. It's highly engaging and hands-on, which we love. How so? Well, for that, let's welcome in education specialist John Sullivan. Hi, John. John. Good morning. Good Thanks, right for Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. Morning. So uh, what's included in this exhibit? I, it's, it's highly interactive, yes. right? Very interactive, and I'm really excited to see families come in and experience this because it is an exhibition of you. Each person in your family is going to experience it differently. It's unique to each visitor to the museum. And the neat thing about it is it's breaking, it, breaking um, your identity up into three sections. Mm -hmm. The familiar is going to come up when you're talking about your eye color, your hair color, your handedness. Um, and then you're going to start to look at how do you think about things, your psychological identity, and then the people you interact with, your social identity. Mm -hmm. So it all comes together in a very fun and interactive way. You've got the science, you've got the sociology, you've got a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. so. We're looking at parts of the exhibit here. Not new in general, certainly new to Omaha, opening on Saturday. Yep. Anything special planned? to kick it off? We do. We have an opening day um, on Saturday starting at 10 o'clock going until 3. Mm -hmm. um, several activities that families can come down and enjoy including wax hands. Um, kids can make their own wax hands. Mm -hmm. uh, moms and dads too for that matter. Um, tattoo, uh, airbrush tattoo artists kind of change your identity a little bit. Add a little color to maybe your face or to your hand. Um, and then uh, different presentations on uh, the Stroop test will be there and then yeah. kind of uh, mind type things, how your mind's going to play with some optical illusions and things and like that. DNA bracelet. Uh, DNA making. bracelet, yep. So yeah, based on... Like a double helix or what are you Well, you essentially, uh, they'll just be kind of different colored beads that uh, kids will be able to choose from based uh -huh. on eye color, hair color, oh, handedness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, gotcha. So it doesn't things look like, like a strand of DNA. When it won't done. look like a strand of thinking, DNA. I was right, going back to science class in yeah. high school. No, nope, it'll be yeah. a little bit more like a, a piece of jewelry, but you it'll be unique the, to you. The Stroop test. Stroop and you, test. And you want to administer it this morning. I'm going What's to, the yes. Point? The point of this is to kind of see how your brain has some interaction problems when things aren't what they should seem. You are, um, and come so, on, you said problems. We're going to have all kinds of problems here this morning. <laughs> you guys you will do great. What kind I of promise you'll do got? great. We'll show you problems. You'll do great, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> the thing about it with the Stroop test, um, John Ridley Stroop in the 1930s um, published this in English for uh, our country, and, and it really was just to show another way of how your brain reacts, psychology. Mm -hmm. um, and so what it is, is you'll see a card with a color on it, Mm -hmm. um, and you need to tell me the color of the word, not the color word. I see. The color of the word. The so color of the word. It's so the, the color same of the font. answer in both cases. Right. So we're going to practice here on a few of these, and then I'm going to give you the actual Stroop test. Is it test. a timed event? Because I think I can stare at it longer and then figure out it what is, the It is. It is a little bit timed. Okay. Now, families that come through on Saturday for opening day, it won't necessarily be timed. It's just to get them thinking about, okay, right. how does my brain interact when it's thrown <laughs> off course right. a little mm -hmm. bit? Mm -hmm. um, so orange. 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 Yeah. Purple, Purple. Yellow. yellow, green, green. red, blue. blue. All right, let's get this wow. real Stroop Wine test going okay, here. Wine colors, literally. Let's okay. get this real one going <laughs> now. Okay, are you ready? Okie dokie. Green. green, red, orange. orange. What? Red. Well, it looks red. red. It's, okay, red. Well, that's red. Green. green. Yellow. yellow. Red. Red. Blue. Purple. 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 Maybe I'm colorblind. Yeah, I think you got orange. <laughs> we figured out other problems purple. here this morning. Purple. And the thing, the neat thing about Blue. the Blue. Stroop test, though, too, is they'll they'll throw in some that are green. green. Correct. Orange. Red. Just orange. To, orange. Are you kidding? I was gonna say orange <laughs> and red might be a little bit close Yellow. there on the cards. Red. red. We need to get you to a, some sort of <laughs> optometrist. <laughs> Jeez, are you okay? You guys did well. Apparently not. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> I haven't been to a while. So uh, <laughs> families, when they come in to do this, it'll be very like very uh -huh. informal. Yeah. Um, and, and it'll just be fun and it'll engaging. be fun and engaging exactly. <laughs> and they'll get to kind of see what what their environment has uh -huh. taught them to look at, and then what their mind is actually telling well, I like them. That it's unique to every guest. Oh yeah. You know, because a lot of things you'll go in and you can look at the same things, do the same things. But this truly is customized based on who you are. Exactly. And there are identity-related programs and other lectures that are coming in the weeks ahead. What mm -hmm. are you talking about there? Um, well, every Saturday through the, or excuse me, every Sunday through the run of identity, we're going to have what we call our curiosity carts. And so essentially we're just taking things that you would get, the genetic part, the psychological part, the social part. Mm -hmm. We're bringing that and kind of making a little bit even more hands-on some experiments. So mm -hmm. for those, um, guests will be able to extract their own DNA. 
um, and actually get to see the strands of it. Um, they'll do, be doing the Stroop test some more, um, and they'll also be able to experience what we call a sociogram, the different individuals they're connected through in different aspects of their life. The calendar of those lectures, those programs, it's all online. All so online, as we yeah. You know, get into opening weekend and the next month and the next month all the way through the 11th of January will be the last day for the exhibit. Uh, but you'll find that calendar online. We're also looking at Halloween coming up. Yes, we um, are. And, and the Great Halloween Haunt. Yes, right? The Great yeah. Halloween Haunt. What are you haunt. doing there, John? The Great Halloween Haunt is just going to be a fun event. Um, October 28th is when that's going to take place mm -hmm. at the museum. And it really, in conjunction with identity, allows visitors to come and kind of change their identity by putting on a mask, uh -huh. putting on some makeup. And it essentially, it's just our, our annual trick-or-treat yeah. um, festivities. There are going to be different historical figures around the museum that um, kids can go around and collect candy from. We'll have makeup um, presentation, Halloween makeup, um, and then you'll get to come in and see identity as oh, well. That's great. Yeah. These, identity, oh, oh, is that included in the membership? Yep, it's yeah. going to be included in the membership. Yeah. Um, if you don't have a membership, definitely sign up for one. Um, it's a great gift, especially with the holidays coming around. Yeah. It's a great value, um, too. Great Great value, yep. A, fa a big family. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a membership, um, admission will get you into identity as well. John, why is it important for us to know more about ourselves? Like, why isn't being enough? Well, because it's because we are all unique. We have so much of those unique things to offer to the individuals we come into contact with. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think knowing more about yourself, your physical, your psychological, your social, allows you to be the greatest person you can be. We definitely learn more about Mary's vision. <laughs> her color I'm, issues. I'm going to be honest. I'm concerned. I would be concerned too. What color is my shirt? What color is it's my shirt? It's green. It is green. Well, how about it's my jacket? Green. It's black. It is black. Good job. I think you're all right. She's okay. Yeah. I don't know. Identity <laughs> in an exhibition of you at the Durham, October 11th through January 11th. I bet 11th. it's been 15 years since I've had my eyes tested. Well, we'll get an appointment for you today, all right? <laughs> okay. Okay. John's like, Mary, this is none of my business. <laughs> well, trying. you had your test this morning, right? <laughs> Identity open Saturday. Be there. John's trying to stay out of this. John, thanks for coming this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you yeah, very it much. Sounds like a fun, fun exhibit. It'll be it a good one. It's yeah. great. Thank all you. All right, now's the time to form good habits ahead of the holiday season. Recommendations for how to do it. That's about three minutes away. Plus the international effort to help girls improve their self-esteem. What color is this I'm paper? I'm back with glasses. What color is this paper? <laughs>